I wanted to tell you guys about one thing that happened to me yesterday, and um, what I want to tell you is going to be called the first um, <clears throat> bl uh, vlog number one, so um, I'm really excited to get going, and I really wish you guys um, would watch. Make sure you like and subscribe. And also, um, just, I left some, um, <clears throat> extra information in the, in the, um, in the, se in the section below. And so I'll leave some things there for you guys to click on. And some clickables. <clears throat> some fun games as well. All my favorite games on addicting dot com addictinggames.com I've listed on there and I'm actually I'm thinking about making that um, uh, vlog number two but for this vlog I wanted to start talking to you guys about one thing that happened to me and uh, before I get going I just want to say that I know that I've already told the story to some of my friends so, um, I want, uh, you guys who might be watching to, um, to see you guys who might be watching who I've already told this to you about, um, I mean, to, I want you guys to know, I'm sorry if this if you, because you've already heard it, but thanks for tuning in anyway, and I really want you guys to know that you're my best friends, and also that, um, thank you, and make sure you hit that like and subscribe, because I'm thinking about making this sort of a full-time thing, like maybe even every night, I don't know, respond to my poll that I put at the bottom of the of below of the pay of the page play the the page below the page below jeez oh my gosh I can't even say this I can't even say this right <sighs> What I wanted to tell you guys about was that the I was driving on the um, I was driving on this road and I had to take a new way and um the I pulled over on side of road and I pulled out my phone it's this phone that I'm recording on um, and it has a pretty great camera as you can tell and I really am thankful for my sponsor who bought it for me 
and to set me up with this nice place and my own boy, um, or my landlord, I mean, um, who acts as my um, help. And um, he, I pulled out my phone, which I, don't get me wrong, I really am thankful for. And I'm not someone who um, takes and takes um, from other people without saying thank you. And so he he likes me, and he's good help. And um, thank you for him. And I pull up my phone. And he, and he, I mean, it is no working, and, um, so, I, I mean, it was working, and I saw, I knew I had to do a loop-de-loop, because I checked, and I knew that you had to go round and round until you were going left, it was one of those ones where you go left, you go right, but really you're going left, um, because you you loop around underneath or up above sometimes in a separate ramp, and I accidentally got off at the wrong ramp, and um, the one right before, because my, I told you my GPS wasn't working it didn't have me at the right I mean it did it, it was working but it no I, I thought that it was the right turn but it was because I only saw one loop-de-loop -loop on the map on the maps on the map and um I took the wrong turn, and I was then I was going on the road, and right before I, as I was getting on the turn, no no pre warning, there was a sign as you were in there this off ramp on this major highway, which I wasn't allowed to be on. No, I was allowed to be on, but I took the exit for the sign after the ramp, which I had turned onto. It had a no motorbike sign and I was like oh god what do I do can't stop now I'm gonna be I'm fucking late um no I wasn't late at that point it was just normal it was just normal but I was on I'd be like oh maybe it's two seconds I'll get off of the next exit and um and but then I saw a sign like maybe a half a kilometer into it still the ramp pretty big loop-de-loop -loop. there is um, a sign that said next exit no this was after then I'm like I could just keep going and then there was a police station thing it's this huge highway and um, and um, there was this police stand and this guy was saw me and he ran over to me and he was sh waving this glow in the dark um, or, no, like a light up, a lighted up, it was daytime, flash stick pointer thing, and he was blowing his whistle at me, and he was flagging me down, wearing like a, a full, like, army uniform, and I just kept going, I kept going, because, um, because I was just like, fuck, you, you're just gonna ask me for money? Like, I'm tired of you fucking money fucking thieves trying to reach to my wallet. Fucking policeman. Fucking. And I thought I was just gonna get off. I thought I was just gonna get off at the next exit. So I was like, I don't wanna deal with this guy. Like, I can out maneuver him. And there's no way there's like cameras around. That, and like, no way I could be tied back to the motorcycle if there were cameras anyway. And, um, and fucking, um, then I see a sign that's like, next exit, um, uh, 
65 kilometers. And I was like, I can't turn around because the police guy's back there and there's a partition in the middle of the road. There's also a partition on the right side of the road that two partitions that last 65 kilometers, except one place um, had a hole. And so I said, let's pull over and get off the bike and see if we can pull the bike over the guardrail to try to climb it underneath that uh, hole in the fence. Because at this point I was, it was 25 minutes to school and I was 20 minutes away if I hadn't just taken that 65 kilometer thing. So I get off the bike and try to lift it over the guardrail and freaking it's not working and the plastic is cracking and um, the um, engine is roaring and the exhaust is blowing in my face and I just can't lift it over like both ways I try back first front first too heavy I put my thumb out I put my thumb out and I say help me dear God please someone stop and help me there were trucks boring veering rooming roaring by and I like went to the middle of the l road and I put out my thumb and I said go around me or help me and they went around me they all went around me except for a father and son and some third stranger who was beautiful and who wore long blue robes and he was named the Lord that's not funny and keep going with the story and they um, told me that um, they were like well, no they were like just what's what and uh, and then they pulled ahead and then I talked for a second and then they like were like oh fuck this guy and then they pulled ahead again but then stopped and then the old man uh, opened the door on the passenger side he came out he said what do you need my friend my American brother and I said I need help lifting this motorbike over this guard railing so I can slip under that fence and drive through that rice paddy to get to that little road that I think leads to the road into my town, the town of my school. And he said, I cannot do this for you, but I will teach you these two words. And he taught me the words Nam and Moi, 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 which means five and also ten. And he told me that if you add those two words together, you say them together, that means 15, and then he taught me kilometers, which is the faggot way of saying miles, and that's not funny, but now I have to cut off the video because I said that word. It's a problem, I'll admit it, I say it a little too frequently, um, but it's actually because I'm gay myself. The thing is that I have been hiding it from my loved ones, all my friends, and all my family for um, quite a long while. And I know that you guys are watching this music video, and really, um, I thank you for your support. I just want to remind you to like and subscribe. Um, but also, I want you to know that I have been closeted, a closeted gay for about um, 11 years. And I am actually part um, of what they call the gay club, where we all go and be like really, really gay. And we're all so open about it and so friendly. And we, what we really do is that, um, yeah, there's a lot of flirting, but what we really do is we just try to make friends. And I know some of you guys are watching and I know that um, I'm a little awkward around you guys because to be honest um, you intimidate me and um, I love you and you are so big and strong and I love that I love that um, I love how strong you are I love how big and strong you are and also I wanted to say to my friends and family back home is I wanted you to know that I'm sorry but I am now gay yeah